Hey, how's it going out there today, guys? Today I want to do a review for a game called ARMS for the Nintendo Switch. And also, we'll be reviewing the uh, Joy-Con Knuckles that are, these are 3D printed. Uh, I did a previous video, best 3D printed uh, accessories for the Nintendo Switch. That was one that was on the list. So I thought I would actually show you guys uh, me using them. Uh, playing the game actually it went fantastic. I love them. They felt like they were made specifically to play the game There was no issues. I had with them. They basically are just 3d printed plastic as you can see there And it just has a groove in it for the joy con to slide into and uh, You just slide them on like that and hold on to them just like this now when you're playing the only button you need to press is uh, the, the this button right here, which is R to jump and then the uh, ZR would actually be for your your power punch your you know super whatever you want to call it there So yeah, very simple to play very easy to play and I definitely enjoyed it a lot better using the joy cons uh, With those on it than I actually did using a pro controller. I thought it was uh, much more intuitive. It worked much better and um, I definitely recommend even if you don't have access to a 3d printer or getting those printed Just holding the joy cons in your hands and actually making the punching motions Will be a lot more fun than actually just sitting there using a controller or using the joy cons attached to the switch So uh, the movements go like this to move forward, you just lean the Joy-Cons forward. To move back, you lean them back. To go left, you lean to the left and right to the right. Again, to jump, you're going to press the L or R buttons. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to block, you just cross the Joy-Cons like this. And you'll automatically block in the game. And then when you want to punch, you just literally punch out like that. Now, if you want to do a hook or have your... Uh, punch actually uh, You know curl like that you basically just turn your joy con when you're punching just like that And it'll actually do an arcing punch rather than just punching straight So that's pretty much it for the controls when it's in handheld mode and then as far as the pro controller uh, The buttons are just pretty much going to be uh, standard. Uh, I think jump was X and then you use the um, ZLZR to actually throw your punches or you can even use uh, I think B and A to, to throw your punches as well. Um, the L and R buttons are going to be for your power punch and then to move around is the left joystick. That's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, it was much, much more fun to use it in handheld mode than actually use the actual Joy-Con or using them attached. So. If you have the ability to do that, that's the preferred way, as far as I'm concerned, uh, to play the game. Now, on a 1 to 5 scale rating, this is one of the first games I've actually reviewed. I give this a 3 out of 5. 5 stars is going to be reserved for games like uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, like Witcher 3, games of that caliber. So, you will not see a, a, a 5 star rating from me too often. This is just an okay game. It's definitely just okay uh, I I personally like Mario Kart much better than I like this game but that's just me uh, your results may vary so that's pretty much it I'll leave you guys with some gameplay of me playing in both you know handheld mode and then also with the pro controller and if you guys have any questions comments leave them down below and uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching